Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to compare fractions with the same denominator, the same bottom number, and how to compare fractions with the same numerator, the same top number. We will start with the same denominator and then move on to the same numerator. And lastly, we will end with some practice problems that you can try on your own. Let's jump into number one, where we have two fourths and three fourths. So reading this comparison from left to right, we have two fourths is greater than, less than, or equal to three fourths. So which fraction here is greater? Now, if fractions have the same denominator, all we have to do is compare the numerators, the top numbers. The fraction with the larger numerator is greater. So looking at number one, we have two pizzas to help us understand this. Both pizzas are the same size, and both pizzas, both holes, are divided into four equal pieces. So our denominator is four here. We are looking at what fraction of each pizza is left. For the pizza on the left, so this pizza right here, two pieces out of the four total pieces are left. So that's two fourths. For the pizza on the right, so this pizza right here, there are three pieces out of the four total pieces left. So that's three fourths. Now we can see that three fourths is more than two fourths. Three fourths is greater. There's more left of the pizza on the right. Since both pizzas were divided into the same amount of equal pieces, four, all we had to do was look at the numerators to see which pizza had more left. Basically, when we have the same denominator, we have holes that are divided into the same number of equal pieces. So all we have to do when comparing is see which fraction has more of the pieces, so which has a larger numerator. So again, three-fourths is greater. Remember, our comparison symbol always opens up towards whatever is greater. So our comparison symbol goes like this. And we can read this comparison from left to right as two-fourths is less than three-fourths. Let's move on to number two, where we have four-eighths and seven-eighths. So reading this from left to right, four-eighths is greater than, less than, or equal to seven-eighths. So let's think about this. If we have the same sized hole here divided into eight equal pieces, which is greater, four out of the eight total pieces or seven out of the eight total pieces? Well, seven out of the eight total pieces, seven eighths is greater. We have the same denominator here, eight. So we can just compare the numerators. Seven is greater than four. So our symbol opens up towards seven eighths. Seven eighths is greater. And reading this from left to right, we have four eighths is less than seven eighths. Lastly, let's move on to number three, where we have five sixths and two sixths. So reading from left to right, five sixths is greater than, less than, or equal to two sixths. So let's think about this one. If we have the same sized hole here divided into six equal pieces, which is greater? Five out of the six total pieces or two out of the six total pieces? We have the same denominator, so we can just compare the numerators. Five is greater than two, so five sixths is greater. So our symbol opens up towards five sixths. And we can read this from left to right as five sixths is greater than two sixths. So there's how to compare fractions with the same denominator. Let's move on to comparing fractions with the same numerator. Now let's take a look at how to compare fractions with the same numerator. Let's jump into number one, where we have one half and one fourth. So reading this comparison from left to right, we have one half is greater than, 
less than or equal to one fourth. So which fraction here is greater? Now if fractions have the same numerator, all we have to do is compare the denominators, the bottom numbers. The fraction with the smaller denominator is greater. So looking at number one, we have two big chocolate chip cookies here to help us out. Both cookies were the same size to start. We are looking at what fraction of each cookie is left. Let's start with this cookie right here on the left. This cookie was divided into two equal parts. One out of the two parts is left, so our fraction is one half. For the cookie on the right, so this cookie right here, this cookie was divided into four equal parts. One out of the four parts is left, so our fraction is one fourth. Now, just by looking at the cookies, we can see that one half is greater than one fourth. There is more of the cookie left for one half than there is for one fourth. But how does that work? Because both cookies have one part left. So how is one of these fractions greater than the other? Well, it's because of the denominators. The cookie on the left is split into two parts, so the parts are bigger than the cookie on the right, which was split into four parts. Basically, when we have the same numerator, we can compare the fractions by looking at the denominators. The larger a denominator is, the more parts a whole will be divided into. Therefore, the parts are smaller. The smaller a denominator is, the fewer parts a whole will be divided into. Therefore, the parts are larger. So if we have fractions with the same numerator, the fraction with the smaller denominator is greater. Those equal parts of the whole are larger. So we have more of the whole, a greater portion of the whole. Now remember, the comparison symbol always opens up towards whatever is greater. So our symbol goes like this. And we can read this comparison from left to right as one half is greater than one fourth. Let's move on to number two where we have five eighths and five sixths. So reading this from left to right, we have five eighths is greater than, less than, or equal to five sixths. We have the same numerator here. Five, so we can just compare the denominators. And let's think about this. We are looking at five parts out of eight, five eighths, and five parts out of six, five sixths. So the wholes have been divided into eight equal parts and six equal parts. The whole divided into six parts will have bigger parts than the whole divided into eight parts. Since we have the same numerator, five, we can compare the denominators. Six is the smaller denominator. Five sixths is greater than five eighths. Five sixths represents more of the whole. So our comparison symbol goes like this. And we can read this comparison from left to right as five eighths is less than five sixths. Lastly, let's move on to number three, where we have two thirds and two eighths. So two thirds is greater than, less than, or equal to two eighths. Well, we have the same numerator, two, so we can compare the denominators. The fraction with the smaller denominator is greater. Well, three is less than eight, so two thirds is greater. And this makes sense. We have a whole divided into three equal parts compared to a whole divided into eight equal parts. The whole divided into three parts will have bigger parts than the whole divided into eight parts. Two thirds represents more of the whole than two eighths. Two thirds is greater. So our comparison symbol goes like this and we can read our comparison from left to right as two thirds is greater than two eighths.
So now that we've tried some practice problems together, it's time for you to try some practice problems on your own. So here are your practice problems. For numbers one through four, you have comparisons. And then for number five, find the comparisons that are correct, the comparisons that are true. There are multiple correct answers for number five, so see if you can find them all. I'll give you two minutes and then we will go over the answers. Go ahead and start. Okay, so that's two minutes. Let's go over the answers. So here are the answers. For number one, we have two eighths is less than two thirds. For number two, we have one fourth is less than three fourths. For number three, we have six eighths is greater than five eighths. For number four, we have three sixths is greater than three eighths. And then lastly, for number five, we have A, B, and E. Those are the correct comparisons. So A, we have one half is greater than one eighth. For B, we have two sixths is less than five sixths. And then E, we have two thirds is greater than two sixths. So there you have it. There's how to compare fractions with the same denominator and how to compare fractions with the same numerator. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.